I think it was quite a grand idea to come outside and smell the fresh air. Helps clear our thoughts even better. Well, I have my doubts as to whether this fresh air will do anything to clear away the clutter of your papist religion. But, let's be civil now. Right then. Civil. Well old man, where were we now? Ah, that's right. I wanted to know why your version of Christianity is more authentic than a Mormon's version. I had said that the Mormon concept of Jesus is very different than yours, but why should someone trust you instead of the Mormon? Why that's easy. They departed from the scriptures and added their own, holy writings to the finished word of God, which sounds an awful lot like what you Romanists did. But when they departed from the doctrines of grace and invented their system, they ceased to be Christian. Right then. There are at least two things I'd like to say about all this. Okay, one, they claim the same about you and I, that early on Christians departed from the faith and they have recovered it. Secondly, your response doesn't really answer very much. How do you know you are right and they are wrong? As I said up in my office, if you prayerfully and honestly search the Holy Word of God, you will come to the truth. If you seek, you shall find. That's funny. What's funny? Oh, I just had a Mormon show up at my doorstep the other day. He said the same thing about knowing that Joseph Smith was a true prophet of God. It sounds like you both rely on some little bit of sanctified indigestion in order to know what is spiritually true. Come now old boy, what good reason do I have for trusting you and not them? I am not asking for your subjective feeling on the matter. My soul is at stake. The apostles gave real evidence for their beliefs. They didn't argue from a feeling. They argued from history. This Jesus fellow actually lived. He was crucified, died and was buried. The third day he rose again and ascended into heaven. These were public acts. We have the historical record. The problem I find with Mormonism is that it is historically incredible. That also happens to be one of my major concerns with Protestantism. It is an historical anomaly. So the faith given us by Christ is an anomaly? Yeah. That's exactly what I said. Why can't you follow here? You are just making bold assertions that cannot be backed up by any historical data. I can show you that the faith taught by the Catholic Church is the historic Christian faith, the faith once delivered to the saints. If we believe Jesus was a real historical person, then the church he established must also be real and historical. We don't rely on history, we rely on Jesus and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. You and all the Mormons. Pastor. The funny thing is that I have seen your polemic against Mormons on your blog, which is quite snappy, and all the historical arguments you give as to why Mormonism is false could be used in principle against your own beliefs. I don't have to take this from a limey. You sound all smart and educated. But all I know is that I love Jesus and only he can save me. You can have your statues in unholy water and bloody priests trampling on Christ. I side with the Lord. Goodbye. Well, all right then. Cheerio.